Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So Merry Merry Christmas to all of you my friends. I hope you are celebrating a very nice Christmas time even during these weird times with your friends and uh, families. So I hope that you're doing fine and you can enjoy these uh, nice uh, Christmas holidays that we're having right now. So my friends, let's start with the Bitcoin price action. Today we are again gonna only focus on the Bitcoin price and what could happen here in the next couple of hours because as you can see right now here in the four hour time frame, we are breaking out as expected here to the upside with the RSI. So we had here this falling wedge in the RSI and currently we are seeing the breakout. And as you can see right now, Bitcoin is trying to push higher than $24,000. So this is the make or break point. So if we are able to go higher than 24,000 and also take out this high that we had here at $24,300, I think that we could see here for Christmas some nice fireworks to the upside in the Bitcoin price. And in order to measure what could be the potential target here to the upside, if we are really able to take out $24,300 and also take out this resistance that now should be here in theory, because we had here this breakout to the downside from this rising wedge. And as long as we are not able to go above $25,300, this red line could be still a potential resistance, but I don't think that this could be a very strong resistance line. So let's see. If if Bitcoin is going higher than $24,300, if we are also able to go above $25,000 and go to our potential target here of this breakout, so towards $26,500. I think it is very likely that we could see such a breakout to the upside during Christmas because right now we have very low volume. If we open up here the volume profile in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently the volume is declining. So it is possible that here we could see such a pump very easy because right now during the holiday time usually there is not much money needed to move the price and that's why I think it is likely that maybe here we're gonna see a potential breakout to the upside also we had now this confirmation that the RSI now is breaking out to the upside of course it is also possible that we are coming into a very overbought condition very soon before we're seeing this breakout towards our target but as it is right now Bitcoin is trying to push higher and it's going to be very very important to see where we're going to close this four hour candle and also the next couple of four hour candles because so far we are getting rejected right here at our resistance point here of $24,000 but if we are able to close a four hour candle above I think we could see the price go very easily again towards $26,000 and potentially even higher towards our bullish target of $30,000 before any kind of correction. So the lower time frames currently are looking very bullish. If Bitcoin is able to start to close four hour candles above 24,000, it is pretty clear that you can trade now with a very nice long position towards 26,000 at least because we have done this breakout confirmed. And if you want to trade over on Bybit or Femex, make an account with my link down below here because you will get some extra bonus if you use my link. And uh, currently, if we are seeing this four hour close above 24,000, I think we're good to go to open up a nice long position. Also, as you can see here, MACD and KSD are looking quite oversold. So here, as soon as we're gonna have a bullish cross, I think we have enough fuel to the upside to reach our bullish targets. Only stochastic currently is coming into overbought conditions. So let's see if here we can stay for a while in this overbought condition before we are correcting again to the downside. So if we're going to see another drop, then watch out for $23,400 right here in the middle line of the Bollinger Band, because currently we're just trading sideways. So there is still a high chance, of course, that we are getting again rejected here at the top. But if we are able to start to close the next couple of four hour candles above 24,000, so above the Bollinger Bands, I think it is very likely that here at least for the lower time frames we're gonna see here a pump towards $26,000 potentially even higher and in case that we're getting rejected here and we're gonna see a drop to the downside then my targets are same as yesterday first a potential support here at the 100 moving average in the four hour right at $21,000 and then of course the 200 moving average right at $20,000 
$20,000. If we're getting really rejected here and we're starting to close four hour candles below $23,000, then I think if you want to open up a short position, wait for confirmation that 23,000 is the new resistance and then ride it down towards the 100 or 200 moving average here in the four hour. If you want to take this short, I don't recommend you to short my friends, better to wait for good long opportunities. So maybe if we're gonna see here a rejection and a drop towards one of these two moving averages, then scale in some nice longs at those levels here because I think Bitcoin could easily bottom out here again at 20k and then again move higher towards the 30 thousand dollar because as long as we are trading and bouncing here from these important moving averages also here in the lower time frames the trend is still shifted to the upside so as long as we're not closing four hour candles below the 200 moving average we should be still on our way towards 30k even of course a drop towards now 20k is still in the cards and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still trading above the nine daily moving average and i told you now many times that as long as we're closing daily candles above this moving average we should be still moving to the upside only if we're gonna have a daily close below this moving average which currently is right here at $23,400 I think we could see this correction towards the 20 daily moving average here at $21,000 and then potentially also a complete retest here of this 20k before we're gonna move higher and only if we start to close daily candles below 20k then I think we could be heading towards a bigger correction which could take us at least towards the 100 daily moving average right here at $15,600 and for the worst case towards the 200 daily moving average here $13,000 so you can see that even if Bitcoin would correct so much we would still remain bullish because as long as we're trading above the 200 moving average we are still in a bull market we are still in a bull trend and like that we should see continuation to the upside so if one day we're gonna see a massive correction then make sure to be able to buy as much bitcoin as possible and also to scale in some nice long positions because for the long term especially for next year i think you will be doing life-changing gains and that's why my friends make sure to be able to buy as much as you can if we're gonna see this correction incoming it is also possible that we're just gonna start to moon from here but sooner or later we will have a correction down to one of these important moving averages especially here in the bigger time frames and also if you go over into the bollinger bands you can see that currently the price is still trending here to the upside and we're still trading on the bullish side so as long as we are remaining here in this upper area between 25,700 down to 21,140 the trend should be definitely to the upside and we should not see such a correction anytime soon but if the price is coming again towards $21,000 and have a possible daily close below 21,000 we could be easily go again towards $20,000 potentially even a bit lower because currently the bottom here of the Bollinger Band in the daily is right at $16,600 so very close to our bearish target of around $15,000 to $14,000 and therefore we have to go into the weekly time frame because here again you can see these potential targets in case of a correction which are right here at the 9 weekly moving average at $18,500 and also right here at the 20 weekly moving average at $14,700 we're gonna need to update these moving averages on a Monday of course but so far you can see where more or less these moving averages are lining up so in case that we're gonna see a possible correction those are the targets because we are still very overbought in the RSI and all in my own indicator so we're gonna see a correction sooner or later the question is still only if first we're maybe going towards 30k and then see a correction or if we're coming down right now test 20k maybe even see a drop below 20k and then move towards new levels but something is clear my friends go long on Bitcoin buy as much as you can at the end it doesn't really matter at what price you're buying because for the long term it will be more important if you're gonna take some profits at 100k or 200k or maybe even 300k so that is gonna be way more important because if you are taking too early profits you could miss out on a very huge parabolic run-up in Bitcoin so that's why also when you're taking profits make sure to always DCA a little bit and those profits also also have it ready to buy back in once we're gonna see another correction because correction always happens and you definitely want to be ready to buy even more Bitcoin like that 
And now let's also have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the weekly because here, as you can see, we are still overshooting it to the upside. And as long as we're having these weekly closes above the Bollinger Bands, I think we could see the price easily go towards 30K because we are looking so bullish since the last couple of weeks. We almost had no kind of bigger corrections so far. So as long as we are closing these weekly candles above the Bollinger Bands, there is no sign, of course, of a bigger correction. But as soon as we're going to have such a possible close below then I think this could lead into a massive correction because also here look at this stochastic we are at 100 since a couple of weeks right now so we have completely overextended and overbought condition I don't think that we could go way way more overbought than we are right now at least here in the stochastic in the weekly but even in the RSI if we have a look here we are right now at an 89% so we are very extremely overbought my friends and a correction if it comes before for reaching completely new levels it's gonna be quite huge and that's why these targets here down towards 18,700 to 14,500 are still very likely to come but usually this kind of bigger correction always happens when no one is expecting it so that's why it is possible that first also we're gonna continue to the upside and of course in the four hour time frame we have currently such a possible scenario incoming that we're gonna see the price go very close to 30k with this next move because we are in a very critical point currently we're trading above all the moving averages especially here the 20 moving average in the four hour we had here this breakout from this falling wedge in the RSI so currently Bitcoin has very good chances here to break out to the upside and reach a very close price target towards 30 K so at least around twenty six thousand dollar let's see my friends what will happen here in the next couple of hours but make sure that if you want to take these trades to go over on Bybit and Femex use my link if you need to open up an account over there these two exchanges are the recommended ones if you want to trade Bitcoin with leverage if you want to go long or if you want to go short and of course also you find here my links to Binance where you can buy all kind of altcoins that you want and also my link over to Prime XPT because here you can copy trade other traders so you can see that right now some of them are very very profitable and there are some slots free now for these top traders which you can just top up some Bitcoin and then click here on follow and you copy trading automatically these top traders. So if you want to try it out open up an account with my link and go ahead and let me know also in the comment section if it's working out for you or not. And with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now because today we have a very nice Christmas special dinner. So today I'm going to my parents because there we have a very nice uh, Christmas dinner today. Staying with family during these hard times is always the best, my friends. So also you make sure that you're enjoying these happy Christmas times and these happy holidays. Stay with your friends and family together. Stay safe and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye. Bye.